Oh, I've turned the game sound down. Alright. Let me reset that. Right, operating instructions, open your doors, begin loading your passengers in anticipation of a 6.56am on time departure. Let's get the doors open. Right, let's have a quick look at the uh, the cab here. Before we get moving, this is the MB36PH. Lovely detailed cab, actually. There's lots going on in here. Daniel, donated 350. Good day, Caltrain hype. Just an update. Heading to Florida for two weeks this Christmas. Also, thanks for reminding me. Dead to Britain to spot trains this spring. Awesome. Thank you very much, Daniel. Get some GGs for Daniel. I apologise for all the sniffing. Just going to have to make do with it, I'm afraid. Um, so let's get out of sight here. This is the MP36PH, much sought after. And in a new operator's livery as well. This is Caltrain. It's the first time we've had Caltrain in the game. Uh, and it comes with the uh, um, these bi-level coaches, of which there is, of course, the, uh, the, uh, the cab car. Right, all aboard. First schedule stop is 22nd Street. Now this could be amusing because the first time I played this, but just to, just to sort of have a quick look, I uh, never worth the first station. So, here it goes, folks. stuff going on up here as well. <coughs> Does Caltrain stand for anything? I'm, I'm sure it's got something to do with California and train. Uh, let me show you the route map actually. We're doing the speed limit. So uh, so this is the uh, the route map. So we start up here in uh, San Fran, San Francisco and we take a sharp left come down to the right heading south again and we've got 22nd Street and then we carry on going down all the way until we get to San Jose Now, I don't know how to stop this beeping. I'm pressing the acknowledge key, but nothing happens. The train keeps going, but that's it. So I'm, I'm stuck. I don't quite know what to do here. But never mind. We'll carry on going and we'll just have dark exterior views. So that's that car horn. There's your belt. No, nope, I'm pad enters not doing anything. Oh, F4, that would probably do it. No, uh, thanks for that, Moggy. There we go. <clears throat> to stop the beeping, you need to read the manual. I did read the manual. It didn't tell me. I'm assuming it's what they're calling TMS or something, but or the alerter as I call it. But um, I'm pressing the acknowledge key. Beeping is only slightly annoying. I'm not watching the speed correctly and I keep over, over speeding. I 
I'm not feeling too bad, Chris. Not feeling too bad. Been better, but you know what? Back on the mend again. Maybe it's a reversing sensor, yeah. The Japanese offspring of the Japanese Bing Bong. <laughs> but the Japanese Bing Bong is really fun. Stop with the beeping! Wipe is off. Is that, are you happy with that, Moggy? Miss President B16, welcome to the stream. Not seen you before. Uh, can I say the right time, the right time to stop before we get to say it? Um, it's it's difficult because it depends on the train, the load, and all the rest of it. It's mostly down to practice. Use any time that workshop route scenery? No, no. This is all done by. Uh, in fact, the the team that did um, Soldier Summit Feather River Canyon, they were uh, pretty much the main people who uh, worked on this one. Right, that's into this station. <coughs> Passenger view. Mr. President V16, thank you for the follow. We've got a, uh, a green light at the uh, end of 22nd Street so we can get going. Once the door's closed, here we go, Milbray is next. It's not quite as glamorous as you expect California to be, is it? <laughs> Mr. President, yes, you'll need, so a, a scenario is essentially a set of instructions for a bunch of um, um, locos on, on a route. Um, so you have to have the locos and the route, and then the scenario is just the instructions that you can then uh, drive them, uh, drive the trains on that route with. Right, 11.75 miles for the next station, so we can put a bit of boot on now, I think. Also open the doors, can you? Oh look. Tell you, I have to say, the scenery is is quite different here. I've not, I've not even. This is the, literally the first time I'm looking at this route, and uh, it's really interesting. This, this is very different to other routes. I'm really pleased that the MP36 has finally made it into the game. I wanted a, a, a Metro uh, Metro Link, is it? Uh, MP36 for the uh, Pacific Surfliner back in the day.
Hey, Axie, you can Twitch won't shut up. This is my two month anniversary, so here you go. It's my two month anniversary. <laughs> Twitch is a little clingy. <laughs> Thank you very much for the uh, resub, Axie. Much appreciated. What does the beeping mean? I've got no idea. I think it's to do with the TMS or the alerter. Um, turn off cab signals. Is there a button for that then? I didn't see a button for it in the instructions. I'm pressing the acknowledge key. It's not doing anything. Beeping is warning information that, uh, to others that Matt is driving. Yeah, really. Be an air raid siren. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> the 124 miles per hour bug on ECML South. No, nope, this is the first time I've heard of that. Nope, no control D and control F. Just tried those. Signal just outside of a tunnel. It's nice. And, uh, Steve reckons it's the uh, smoke alarm because I'm cooking bacon. Could be, I guess. Someone tell me how to fix the beeping. <laughs> All right, seven point seven five miles. There's a switch to do it. Check the middle of the window or panel on the back. Middle of the window? I don't think anything on the back works. No. Alright, 70 limit coming up. Oh, it's going to be looked at. Oh, okay. Thank you, Kevin. I'll stay as much as I can on the outside then. I've tried Control-D. That doesn't do anything trackside. All right. I had a look through the manual, Daniel. Manual, Daniel. <laughs> What's the DRA button? So the DRA button is um, a UK thing, and it's used for locking out the controls. Um, so the driver uses it to lock out the controls to remind them that they're in front of a danger signal. The idea being that they'll see the yellow signal and then stop at a station and then 30 seconds a minute later they may have been distracted by all sorts of things going on at the station stop and have forgotten that they passed a yellow signal power out of the station and then spad at the next red so it's an anti-spad uh, protection
Look at all these crisscrossing highways. It's epic. But we couldn't stay here. There's no. Uh, yeah, this gives us a uh, a sort of a cab-like view. Four and a half miles to go. Simon Lund, do all the buttons in TSW do something? They all move, but do they form a specific function each in the game? Pretty much. I think pretty much everything does, even if all it does is play a sound. Like when you turn the heater on, obviously it doesn't actually turn the heater on. Um, keep nipping away at my score. Down to um, 65. San Bruno, we are not stopping at San Bruno. Don't get excited about San Bruno. Horn's nice and controllable, it runs a 14L really nicely. Weather in the San Francisco Bay Area is like this right now as it kept raining really hard. <laughs> Elevated track. Fastest 14Ls ever. At least there are 14Ls though. Credit where it's due. <laughs> I've not actually tried stopping this train from 79 miles an hour yet, so it'd be interesting. Does all things do something the player will be able to see in real life? I'm not going to say all things, but the vast majority do. You know, all the fuses pretty much do what the fuses should do. Coming in for a stop at Millbrae. Owen ABC10, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Going downhill, there. I hadn't even realised that as well. Do you think the horn sounds electronic, Carspec? It's because it's coming out of a computer, probably.
Oh, that's not terrible. Stop. Give me some credit. I've done worse. Let me grab a screenshot while we're here. Who put them posts there, Kevin? Right, Redwood City is next, 11.8 miles. Didn't do bell coming in or leaving out. Caltrain is an awesome delivery business here, but I must admit I quite like Caltrain delivery. Right, so we're off to Redwood City, 11.7 miles. I don't think uh, white paint on diesel trains is a good idea. <laughs> Can't imagine why. Nothing to do with all that smoke. So at Rishazan, this feels a lot like Pacific Surf Liner. I was thinking that as well, actually. Although the scenery is quite different, to be honest. I guess it's because it's an American commuter route. We've got holes in for Christmas. Yeah, all booked up. Monday's my last day at work, and then I'm off, which means Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, never if I've got my days right, uh, it might be um, extra streams. Is the Daypole Class 68 going to be out at Christmas or just out? I must admit I've got no idea. I've not really been tracking any of the model railway well for quite a while. BD Verdu, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. For the win! <laughs> Road crossings, really?
much snow to go to. Look at all of these crossing after crossing after crossing. Maybe this is all um, quiet zone, I don't know. Haywood Park, we are not stopping at Haywood Park. But I do need to speed back up again. Haywood Park and Hillsdale. Yeah, we're quite a way out of San Francisco, we're still winding our way under highways. Managed to get the ETA down to 26.45. But five miles to go. Keep up to the speed limit. We should be able to pull that ETA down a bit more. Daniel says there's no quiet zone on this line. Kevin says there is Abbott. Okay, I'm just going to randomly blow the horn and sometimes miss it. And sometimes I'll be right, sometimes I'll be wrong, and that's fine. <laughs> Lovely weather. Perfect for ducks. If you're just joining, this is the new Peninsula Corridor route that was just released today. It's a Caltrain route. up to 77 and climbing stay regular what I'm just watching. I'm actually spending more of my time watching the um, the roadway down here and what's going on with the buildings that go by. California prunes. <laughs> uh, class.
Oh, I see. X2. I guess that means that there's two crossings coming up. Yep, there is. Pulled the brakes on a little hard there. Shopping station. Spot cab, is that, that where I'm supposed to drop the cab, is it? So we can, we can mess with doors, apparently. Let's move over to that side and mess with door. Oh, isn't that awesome? I am really, really easily pleased. What well, a board, Menlo Park is next. Three point four miles for Menlo Park. Oh, that is the cab light that's on there, isn't it? Uh, yeah, TSW next time, Crazy Dan. Is there anything particular you want to see? Shout at me. Three miles from Menlo Park. We're ahead, a little bit ahead of schedule, so that's good. We haven't got any time to make it back up if we lose it. over there. The Grist has just noticed the outfit. <laughs> All courtesy of Dave Mabbott. It, it's got the beard as well, but the beard makes me sneeze and that's not productive to streaming, so the beard's just going to have to sit down there and make it look like a hairy chest. Chris, yeah, feeling better. Not 100%, but a hell of a lot better than I was yesterday. I'm guessing this is that pesky alert has just gone off on me. So much for being ahead of schedule. There goes my glod as well, actually, thinking of it. Bah, bug. Is that alarm still going off? Yeah. Oh, hello. Having actually caused an emergency break, it's stopped. Well, that's, a, that's an upside, then. I'm not going to complain about that, then. Because 
just got to get the brakes re um, reset so we can get going again. Oh, we can stay back in the cab now for a while. Run my glod script. Oh, you're still bitter about that, aren't you, Katie? <laughs> yeah, the shape of this cab is really nice. I'm really pleased to have the MP36 in the game at last. Uh, I'll show you the map when we do the next station stop, train boy. What to do after you've missed the alerter in the cab? Yeah, that's a good thing. I can do that. Doing the PCS reset. Alright, coming up on Menlo Park now. No, we're not ahead of schedule. No, we're behind schedule. Roll up to the end. I'm just going to keep mashing the Q key. Right. Doors is open. Is there a passenger? It certainly is. Oh, map view, I said we'd look at. So we've got uh, San Francisco up here. And then the route proceeds down this way to San Jose. coming off of this soup that came right up my nose. <laughs> Stations Palo Alto, home of Xerox, home of Windows and the mouse, actually. Palo Alto Research Center. Bill Gates went to a uh, conference there and he saw three things. Uh, we saw a bunch of stuff and there were three things that really we really went away with. I think one of them was Windows, but eventually it turned into Windows. Another one I think was networking. I can't remember what they, the, what they were now, but. It was um, 
the sort of everything that we know about when we take for granted about computing today came from around the corner here. Um, it's an exciting place. You heard it about Apple and Steve Jobs. <laughs> I have a sneaky suspicion they were all there, actually. And they kind of all went away with different things. Beep is going again. Right. It's very wet here, it has to be said. Uh, Cowspot, yep, TSW is next. 2SD40 is working in sync. Um, I'm actually having trouble getting that working myself at the moment. So let me when I figure that out, because I think there might be an issue there in the beta. So when I uh, when I've got it figured out, if I can get it working in the beta, I'll let you know. I can show you the theory, um, but uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to work. Right, roaring out of the station, heading for Mountain View. Let's see if we can't get some of this time back. Six miles. Oh, that sounds good, GWR, yeah. Well, the thing is, it's not just one point I've lost. Actually, what I didn't get was 125 points as well. So it's not just one point lost. It's 126 points lost, essentially. So, now nah, the Glod is long gone. To be honest, any medal probably is long gone. But if, I, if I'm not too bad from here on, I might desperately cling on to the bronze. Actually, over two minutes now. <laughs> I think we need a bit more than five miles to get some of this time back. Screenshots, we are. So maybe that's something else I should show. Is where you find your screenshots.
3.7 miles, we're now gaining time, so it's a question of really how much time can we gain in three and a half miles. Gained back about 20 seconds, so now we're at the two minute mark. One minute 59 seconds. 2.5 miles to go. Hey, William 3451. I like the underpass under the platform, under the track there. Mountain View coming up now. to claw it back to 1 minute 48 but I'm going to lose some of that just by doing a bad stop because that's what I always do One minute 45 so far, it's our lateness time, so I'm going to lose points at this station again. I was a little bit concerned I wasn't going to get stopped here. I'm going to be honest there. So you can stop any time now. The electric line on the left, probably a tram or something. Looks very trammy. Because trammy is a thing. That's a reversing line by the looks of it. Right, hitting the emergencies didn't help me at all. Gun it for the next station, San Jose, Duridan. Oh, that's it actually. Ten miles. Come on, let's get some time back. Oh, we gain points! We gain points! We're not going to get up to 750 at the next one, so... TWR5029 says Twitch has this up, so thanks for a great two months. And may we see D16661 tonight. Cheers for all you do. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, 5029. I'll have a look for that. Thank you for the resub, mate. Much appreciated. All right. Accelerating up to the 79 again. I've tried the emergency brake at a stop. New Boy. It doesn't do anything. I've tried that uh, at the last stop.
This route comes with the MP36 and it also comes with the Union Pacific GP38. So uh, we're going to do some train sim world, then we're going to do a West Coast Mainline North scenario, and then we're going to come back and do uh, another scenario, this time northbound, um, using the Union Pacific GP38. No, I didn't read the letter from Santi yet, Dave. I was waiting for you. I shall read that straight after uh, uh, after this. Oh wow, all of a sudden we're something like four minutes behind Chichel. Let's just pretend we didn't see that. Ow! <laughs> That's a bad one, guy. Does Union Pacific run on this route? I'm assuming so, Flying Scotsman, given that there's a, Jeep, a Union Pacific train on it. Right, we're up over 75, so the ETA is going to start coming down now. Ooh, that's an awesome station. speed back up again. We're never going to get it down to 757 though. Not a chance. Please look now, just now bother to look at it. <laughs> Keep that speed up. Pull the speed back, the time back, and try and not lose 85 points. Let's, you know, let's try and get a, at least a Borns here, folks. What's the difference between global and top? So global is your place in the ranking. So it should show you and then some of the ones above and below you. And then top shows the top ones in the global rankings. That's nice. While I'm trying desperately trying to catch up time, you give me a 35 mile an hour speed limit for about two inches. Santa Clara. A 
That's a yellow. This is probably a spat then. Oh no, it's green on the bottom, okay. That's not so bad. I thought that yellow meant we we're heading on for a red. Diverging route. Let's get back up to 35. Oh, notice how the speed limit started at the signal, though. Seventy-nine. We're not stopping at Santa Clara. Got it. Don't let you down. Oh, sorry, uh, JD. Uh, I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> nice one, Dave. Got a forty limit coming up. That bridge is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I've got a flashing yellow. Need to be getting slowed down to 40, so let's do that. Oh dear, sorry Chris, that doesn't sound good. Get well, mate. 10 mile an hour limit just up here. Just noticed that. Oh, the 10 limit's there, not back there. Nice. Oh well. No chance of a glod. Come on brakes, let go. Come on brakes, let go, thank you. Oh, we're crossing back again, oh, okay. speed limit changes without warning. It's because the speed limit applies from the signal so I think um, flashing yellow probably has a 10 mile an hour speed limit because this American signals are speed based signals whereas UK signals are route based signals which means that every aspect has a speed limit associated with it so you need to just look up the manual should tell you what they all are and I can't, I'm, it's a long time since I haven't looked at the manual so <laughs> I'm just winging it <laughs> Uh, Noli, um, yeah, I've, the, the map in the corner there is a little, little plug in that I wrote myself some time ago.
<laughs> French strip. <laughs> Just under a mile for San Jose. You hate 10 miles an hour limit, well there you go. Got 20 mile an hour limit coming up soon, so. It'll all be done then. Is auto mod causing problems? Because I must admit, I'm not looking at the uh, the Twitch um, inbuilt chat, so I'm not seeing um, what it is. So um, if the moderators can let me know what uh, A 40 limit has just appeared, but then we're going to get tricked with a 20 limit. I'm just going to go with the 20 limit. There you go, 20 limit. <laughs> We're coming in super late. See that enemy? Well, we're not going to get any medals, but we might get some XP at least. William3451, thank you for the resub, second month. He says, keep up the good work, Matt. Thank you very much, Will. Appreciate, appreciate it. Daniel R. Kansas and Engine. Um, yeah, it's from Dave, the costume. And after this, there's, there's apparently a letter from Santa that I need to read as well, so I'm going to read that in a minute. After I've finished being um, told off by the game for my fabulous driving skills. So auto mod is a thing that's new on Twitch, and I've said it fairly well low, um, so it shouldn't be doing too much. But there are some words that are coming up, um, so bear with the moderators and um, talk to them, and uh, they will uh, they will help. The idea is that unlike the when Moobot does it, and people get timeouts and things like that, the auto mod doesn't do that. It holds the message back, um, and then. Um, that's a sports stadium, I guess. Um, and then the moderators can approve it and then let it go through. So, um, minus 500s, I get nothing. You, sir, get nothing. You've completed this run of the Caltrain Train 312 from San Francisco to San Jose. Take a deserved break. Wow, we were doing okay. And then it just all went really bad. <laughs> Ooh, 
Right, okay. <laughs> Boom at the end there. Oh well. Right, so. Um, um, just trying to think, have I got a... I don't think I've got anything with the camera zoomed in. So let me, I'll just leave it like this for now. I'm not going to mess with the stream. Hold on a minute. So I've got this, I've got this letter thing. Um, and it came with the uh, the Santa outfit from... Uh, I'm guessing Santa's sending me a Santa outfit. Um, Santa being Dave in this case. Thank you, Dave. Um, so I'm just opening the letter. Uh, and let's see what, uh, see what he has to say. A letter from North Pole apparently it says read the letter first as it's the season of all things Christmassy and it's a busy time here at the workshop we have sent you a gift and from your videos at DTG with you pretending to do some work why not go the whole hog go ahead and open a parcel trust me it's not a bomb or anything that goes tick tick boom but it may however go pop and spray though Kappa enjoy hope it's just what you wanted for Christmas I and tell Moggy he's not coming off that naughty list anytime soon so he's just getting a lump of coal this year if he's lucky and there is a place of coal for him uh, and there, <laughs> if he's lucky and there is a piece of coal for him from a good TSL fan not who you're probably thinking it is Saint Nick so um, yeah thanks for the uh, th thanks for the uh, the letter um, Saint Nick <laughs> And for the uh, for the Santa outfit, <laughs> um, Dave did actually send a, a card as well the other day. I just put that back up again. It says uh, Matthew Pedersen recommends a traditional bar humbug, old fart brand Christmas. All that tinsel and turkey drives him crackers, but we know he loves it really. There you go. Right. I was going to say, you give Moggy coal, he'd probably be quite happy. Keep a steam engine going. <laughs> right, okay, so um, there was lots of requests for some um, Train Sim World. So let's do a little bit of Train Sim World. Uh, can someone change the game? <laughs> 